Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nadia Moor and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create this multicolor filter. It's very popular in TikTok, so I decided that we should do it in, in, on Instagram. Okay, let me close this project, new project, blank project. And before we begin, I also want to show you that I have Gumroad page where I uh, sell different products like 3D eyelashes, eye lenses, glitter, glitter eyebrows, makeup, contouring. So there's many different uh, products. So if you're curious uh, to see this page, it's going to be in the description uh, to this video. Okay, so now let's uh, add a rectangle by clicking add object and searching for rectangle. And I'm going to co uh, call this one is reduce uh, brightness. And I'm going to add material and actually let me switch to video of myself. So this material is also going to be RB, basically reduce brightness. And it's going to be flat. Also, I'm going to um, rectangle and I'm picking fill width and fill height. And now let's go to the workplace and click show, show a hide patch editor. Okay, and I need to have camera texture. So I'm going here to camera and I'm clicking uh, texture extract, extraction here and camera camera textures appears here. And now I am going to unpack this camera texture. So I'm going to drag from RGBA port and search for unpack. And each value I'm going to multiply. So let me create multiply and let me just duplicate it two more times. So we have multiply for each of, of it. And first value we're going to multiply by 0 0.2. Second value we're going to multiply by 0 0.7. And the third value, we're going to multiply by 0 0.1. And now I want to uh, to add all these three values together. So I'm going to click Add. And I'm going to add first value with second one. And then I'm going to add the third value by using the patch Add one more time. And I will connect this patch here and now I'm going to the uh, reduce uh, brightness material and I'm clicking on texture plus here and now okay and so as you see for example when I make this rectangle invisible the color like normal when it's visible the color kind of reduced brightness it's kind of reduced color even more than brightness okay so now I'm adding one more rectangle. Let me search. And this rectangle is going to be multicolor. Let me add one more material, create new material. Multicolor. It's going to be flat and size of it. I also want to make a fill width and fill height. And now I'm going to create one more um, patch sequ sequence. So first we're searching for the loop animation. And then I'm going to search for the pack. And I'm going to change it to four vectors. And it's going to be one, 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 four. And, and keep this one. I'm not changing. And then I'm next one is called color space. Uh, 
and I'm changing the input color space from RGB to HSV. And now I need two more patches. Grad, uh, gradient one and another one is gradient step. And now I'm picking the color. So I'm going to pick here um, like red and for the second one it's going to be green and then I'm going to make this green a little bit more dark like here. And now I'm connecting this gradient output here. And then I'm connecting this output to the previous step and to the next color. After that, I'm, I'm uh, using the second output one, it's important, and I'm searching for the texture transform. And after that, I'm going to the multicolor material, clicking on texture. And connecting this texture. So let me play. And now colors are changing. But we need to change in the, we, uh, as you see, it's not transparent. So now I went to the multicolor and I'm changing alpha to multiply. And also I'm changing the opacity to 45%. And also you can control how fast it's blinking by changing the duration. So for example, if I'm going to put duration 10 seconds, it's going to be really slow. But if I'm going to put duration, for example, 0 0.5, it's going to be much more faster. So let, let me keep like one second duration and pause this part. But if all this stuff that I just did, it seemed too difficult for you or just something didn't work out, I also created two patches, and those patches are in my uh, Spark ER US channel. It is decreased brightness and gradient by Nadia Moore. So you can download those two uh, patches, and let me show you how you can use them. So you just drag those patches in. And decrease brightness, that's the first one. So you just drag it here. And uh, okay, okay, I'm gonna make multicolor invisible so we can see. And I'm just disconnecting this color uh, camera texture. And I'm just disconnected also here, this diffuse texture. And I'm dragging it to this patch. And I'm connecting them together here and here. And now it's went back. So like basically all this we are eliminating. And the same with gradient by, by Nadia. So instead of having all these uh, programs, you can just disconnect this diffuse texture, pull it close to the gradient, and also need to make it back visible. So I'm making back visible and now pulling back together and click and play. And now it works exactly as this, all these patches together. So let me delete this part. So you can do both way. You can either do uh, those procedures that I showed you before, or you can go to my um, Spark ER uh, uh, Telegram channel and download those two patches. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you plan to use it for your own filters, Please, please give it thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.